Hey guys, this is Sadar and Ganesh here. This video, the following one hour video, is a sneak peek into a private Facebook group coaching call. In fact, this happened last week where I go over the exact step-by-step -step process on how to identify a low-hanging fruit in the rank and rent niche, um, identify a niche, a city, the exact steps I do that I did three, four, five, seven years ago when I was in the in my day job and I wanted to get out of my day job. And then in my course, my coaching program, over 500 students, this is the exact step-by-step -step they, they follow. Um, they say the riches are in the niches. If you can know, if you know how to identify a right niche and find a low hanging fruit, it's an easy 500 to 600 to maybe even $1,000 a month. You do not have to learn everything about SEO and the backlinks and the schemas and the on page and all that. The key 70% of the success rate comes from identifying the right niche. Just my opinion. So in this call is a one hour long um, video. Is actually a recording of a live call we had last week in my private coaching call, uh, a private coaching program. We go over step by step. I show you the examples, the exact metrics, what you need to look for. More importantly, we find two, three, four of these. We even call um, one or two of these businesses and identify one business who is ready to pay for leads and eventually will become a rank, rank and rent partner. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want more such videos, Make sure you like and you subscribe so you're notified. Um, and of course, make sure you get into our free Facebook group. There's a ton more of information out there, free videos and all that. If you are someone who's like, what is digital real estate? What is local SEO? What is rank and rent? How can I make a thousand, two thousand, even five thousand dollars a month? Replace my my job income, you know, I just want to have a passive income on the side. This is exactly where you need to get started. Obviously, there's a lot more inside our coaching programs and our Facebook groups and all that. But this one video, if you take it and implement it, it will change the direction of your journey and success. Okay, so over, over to the video. Really, I'm so glad, really. Yeah. Now you should say that. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm so glad I took this course. I am so, so happy, really. I, I should have taken it some years ago <laughs> when I saw you first time a couple of years, three years ago. This is just mind-boggling what you're teaching in the course, really. It, it, it is. You're have... very personable, obviously. And uh, I had a good conversation with you yesterday, a very, very good conversation. I appreciate that. Yeah, last uh, last couple of days I've been having one-on-ones just like you with people who join yeah. because I've been to, you know, I've been in the system in the, you know, in the, in the business for a while. And more importantly, work with so many people kind of know exactly what each one knows. So I was talking to one person who's already at, at, at a very good success and they want to get to six figures a month. And then I was talking to somebody who's brand new, wants to get to 5k a month. And then, because I've been through the whole process, kind of easier to pinpoint exactly what you need. You know, so right. welcome, glad. I want to show you the process that we use to identify low hanging fruits, low hanging niches to get to your first $500 a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anywhere from 300, 400, $500 a month. That's what we're going to start doing. And this is the exact process that when I got started, I was in a day job. I'd be in my office and I'll be like, what do I do? Let's get started, guys. I have an exciting thing today. I want to make sure everyone here, how about seeing how we can first learn the system of identifying low-hanging fruits for rank and rent. And maybe if time permits, each one of you here, let's see if we can identify a, a city and a, and a niche, okay? So I'm going to share my screen. So number one, here is what we're going to do. Make sure here in the SEO Accelerator Rank and Rent program, um, if you go here, make sure you watch this video, the ranking process video with, and there's a whole PDF here, right? We're going to be starting over this. We're going to go over niche research, location research, these two, because if you know to do these two, write this down, the riches are in the niches, right? If you find the right niche, you, you don't want to go after what everyone's going for. Everyone's going after the plumber and the dentist and the lawyer. We want to find a niche that's not saturated, that's low hanging. I'm going to go deep dive into this and we, you can easily make $300, $400 a month. Okay. I have a saying in my, in my course over here. It's easy to pick a fight with a toddler and win, 
than picking a fight with Mike Tyson. Now, don't go pick a fight with a toddler, but you get the idea, right? It's easy to pick a, an easy niche, right? So here's what we're going to do. So even now, but more so when I was starting out and when I was in my day job, I had two browsers tabs open almost every day, every single day. One, I would go Google list of US cities by population. And if you're in the UK, you can put up the UK population cities, or if you want to target the US market, this is what you want to do, right? I would have this and I would go down and I'm going to look at cities that are not too low in population. We don't want to find a city with population 30, 40, 50,000 population. Why? Because we can easily rank in a 40,000 population city, but we may not be easy, you know, we may not generate enough calls to, to be able to rent it to a contractor. Does that make sense? So we're going to identify a city. And then I go and open up a website called homeadvisor.com. Right now, I, I believe there's probably an equivalent in the UK and Canada and Australia and India or wherever you are, right? But in the US market, Home Advisor browse all services. So this website is basically gives you all the different industries. And these are people who are paying money per lead to Home Advisor. So they already know the pay per lead, pay per um, call, paid model. Does that make sense? So why are we opening this? We want to find out these guys. So it's going to be easy to reach out to this guy because he already understands the paper model advertising. We don't have to educate them about advertising and why not. He's already paying for leads. And he'll be more open to testing you out, trying you out to see if he gets better leads. All right? So let's not make this complicated. There's a lot of videos over here about the ranking process. Right, um, you can go uh, and start doing the keyword research and all that. I'm just going to be talking to you about niche research, location research, 75, 100K, 150K, max 200K population. Right now, all you want to do now is a, it's a, it's a process of permutation combination. We want to find an industry that we can see. We want to find an industry or a niche here. We want to find a city here and then go and Google that and see how the competition looks. Is it competitive? Is it not competitive? Do we have a chance of easily ranking a website and renting it out? Okay. So keep in mind one thing. There's two kinds of niches. There's what I call the low volume, high ticket, right? Think of something like kitchen remodeling, right? The number of people in any given city searching for kitchen remodeling to looking to do kitchen remodel the kitchen or the bathroom is very low. But even one job, if you can send it to a kitchen remodeling company, they can make an easy 20 or 30K. One job can be worth 20 or 30K. Make sense? And then there is this high volume, low ticket niche. Okay. Think of something like appliance repair. Every household has four or five appliances, refrigerator, washer, dryer, dishwasher, you name it, right? And the chances of some appliance breaking down in some house in a city is high. And so the volume of people searching for appliance repair in their city is high. But one appliance repair job, the company will probably make 200, maybe 300 bucks at the most, right? Think about it, right? Let's say Gary's washer breaks down. He calls an appliance repair. The appliance repair comes, guy comes and says, Gary is gonna be 800 bucks. Most likely Gary would not spend 800 to repair it. He would just say, forget it, go and buy a new washer, right? So it's a low ticket item, but if it's a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars repair it, we will repair it, make sense? So we can, there are people making money ranking and renting sites in this category, and there are people doing, making good money in this category. I know a guy making $3,000 a month in appliance repair in Florida. Right? I, I know a guy who's making pretty good money. I don't know how much he makes, but he makes good, decent money in kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling. So it doesn't matter where you want to go. I prefer to test it out 
and 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 find the land on the dish that works for you. So when I got started, I told some of you guys the story. I started with the limousine niche, limo service, in, and I ran for limo service Detroit, and then I ran for tree service Ann Arbor. Right? Both were getting calls. And I was sending these calls for free to a, a, a limo company, and I was sending it for free for a tree company. What I found out was this limo, and I was excited about limo company because the limo company said, if you, you know, I will not only pay you, they will even give me a discount if I rent a limo. I even rented a limo and, and took my kids and all that, and we had a good time. But this was not consistent because in limo industry, what I realized was people would shop around. So they will find, they will search for limousine service, but then they will land on my website, call the number, it will route to my client. They will say, yeah, the limousine for a, a sweet 16 birthday party is 230 bucks. And then the person will say, okay, I will shop around. So my limo company is like, you sent me calls, I got some jobs, but the same customer also called me directly on my line. So why should I pay you? Make sense? But as tree service guy was like, he was thankful. He was like, oh my God, your leads are better than home service, the home advisor. And, and I got a couple of jobs I want to pay you. So then I stuck to tree service and I scaled that. Right? Okay. So that's what we want to do. We want to see how we can identify something for you. So the number one thing I would recommend you to do is ideally you want to pick a city that is a hundred to 200,000 population. Ideally, your hometown or somewhere near your hometown. So somebody here, give me a, a hometown that you live in. Put it in the chat. The first person who puts in, we're going to find out a city and a niche near you and see if you can find it, okay? Anybody mm -hmm. put it in the chat, the hometown you live in. So we, let's see if you can go in there. Put it in the chat uh, in Zoom, anybody. Okay, people are searching for Zoom chat. Okay, Texas City, Texas. Is there a city called Texas City? I didn't even know that. Texas City. Okay, let's see the population of Texas City. 54,000, all right? Now, Texas City, Texas, I did not even know there was a city called Texas City. That's a different story. But this is 54,000. It's in the, okay, somewhere near Houston. We want to find a city which is close to you which is probably in the in the hundred thousand to hundred fifty thousand population, right? So you can still do Texas City. Maybe let's start there and let's look at it. Okay. Now let's just go with Texas City just for e easy to understand, and let's go and pick a niche over here. Most people will go for plumbing or HVAC or or tree service for the matter or concrete, which is fine. But if you can find something that Here's what you need to understand, guys. Everybody here, these are businesses. Whether it's the countertops guy, the water heater guy, the sprinkler guy, every business wants clients. Most marketers, they just go after the, the most common business category out there, like the plumbing and the HVAC. So if you go and find exterior home, windows, gutters, hardly anybody goes after gutters. It could be a low low ticket item but you in your case are looking to make your first 300 bucks a month even if it's only 100 bucks a month you're learning you're learning and you're getting paid make sense so let's just take this and go to google and say gutters texas city texas right and let's look at what google is giving us number one i have a plugin some of you may know this plugin is called the keyword everywhere it's like $10 for 10,000 searches. It will give you the search volume right there, right? Again, you don't have to use it. It's just easier. You can go and use uh, Google Keyword Planner to get the, get the free thing. This is just easy for me, right? Now, if it's zero, it doesn't mean there's zero people a month searching. It's just that the volume is so low that this plugin is not picking up the, the volume. That doesn't mean there's nobody searching. You probably get a couple of calls a month. Ideally, you want to find this at least 10 such a month. Make sense? Okay. So in this city, even if you put a website for gutters and you only send in, let's say, three calls or four calls a month, right? Let's just say gutter 
cleaning cost, right? Uh, how much is the cost? 166 for the average homeowner, right? Let's say 160 for the average homeowner. You send him uh, four jobs a month. That's equal to 640 bucks a month, right? He will be happy to pay you 10 percent, 64 bucks, or 12 percent, 80 bucks per month. This is this is just for the ranking and renting the site. You are not upselling any. SEO, branding, growth partner, nothing. You're just selling the leads. You're just ranking it out. This may not be a lot of money, but this is going to take care, take care of your cell phone bill. For your first website, your first asset, this, is, this works. The outside world, what do they do? They buy a $20,000 house. They refurbish, re, I don't know, whatever they do, clean the kitchen, fix the toilet, put a tenant, and they cash flow $100 to $200 a, a house. Here you're putting a website, $12 domain. I'm going to show you a few things. Make sense? Right? Now, ideally, I don't want to just go Texas um, City, this one. Even in Texas City, I want to find out if there are other, other niches I can go after, right? This is a low-hanging fruit. Let me just talk about it a little bit. And if you have any questions, please raise your hand or, or put it in the chat, right? Why is it a low hanging fruit? Look at the top guys. The first guy does not even have a website. He only has a Google listing, no website. You see that? This guy's got a website, this guy's got a website, but the first guy has no website. Three reviews, 11 reviews, 18 reviews. Compared to somebody like an HVAC in let's say Chicago. 600 reviews, a thousand reviews, you see that? 1900 cents a month. Now, if you can rank and rent an HVAC website in Chicago, there'll probably be an HVAC company willing to pay you 2000 bucks a month. But to do the work, you're going to be spending three, four, five thousand dollars. The time is going to rank, it's going to take eight to 12 months. So instead of you doing work for eight months and then get paid 2000 a month, you could go for these little guys. And just in the first month, get paid 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month. Do it five times and you make 1,000 bucks a month. Does it make sense? Any questions, comments, anything on this so far, guys? Anybody? Um, maybe just a quick question. How I want to actually make a rank and rent uh, be $1,000 a month. What do you feel is a good justification to explain $1,000 a month rank and rent? Great question, right? Again, it comes down to a couple of things, right? So what justification to justify that you can rent a website for $1,000 a month, right? If you, it's all about perspective, okay? Um, you guys know that, have you heard a story about, I want to tell a story, so it will make my point, but have you heard the story about the dad giving a gift to his daughter for her 18th birthday? He gives her a 1965, some car, let's say Corvette, 1965 Corvette, okay? And he says, take this car, go to the dealership and say, how much would you trade this car or how much would you give this, uh, you give me for this car? And the dealer would say, you know, it's, a, it's an old car, we'll give you $15,000. He says, take the same car, go to somebody who understands antique cars, the guy says, oh my God, this is a, he does the inspection and says, this is a one-time thing, you know, a special edition car. I will give you $80,000 for this car, right? He says, you go and give it to your five-year-old sister. She'll be like, I'll, I'll give you a candy, right? It's all perspective, 80,000, 15,000, a candy, right? In modern day, think of popcorn. I was explaining this to my six years, now tomorrow she'll be eight years old, my daughter. Popcorn, if you go and buy it in Costco, you buy it in bulk, you can get the packet for a dollar. If you go and buy it in 7-Eleven, you'd probably be $2, $3. If you go buy the same popcorn in the movie theater, it's $15. The business models are different. Costco sells bulk. 7-Eleven convenience. Movie theater is the experience, right? So how you put it across, how they perceive it, how much is their value. So the way I see it, 
is I, there's two ways to skin this cat. If you want to be purely rank and rent, if every job, that's why I talk about this high volume, low volume, high ticket, right? If you can send them 10 calls and three, three of these calls become jobs, right? Then now you know that if every job is 30K, three jobs is 90K, he will pay you gladly 10%. If every job is 300, then three jobs is 900, he will pay you gladly 10%. What is 10% of 30K? What is 10% of 300? Right? So somewhere in between these two categories, if you find a niche that you can tell him, hey, this is a no brainer that you will make 10 to 15 X of what you're going to pay me. That's how I put it across. That's why I went into tree service because a tree, I posted this the other day in, in this group right here. One job, he made 6,000 bucks. Right? Where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? Here. One job, 5,980. He sent me $897. It came to my bank yesterday. One job. So you can go a 15% deal. You can go a flat fee deal. It depends on how you, how you want to, um, your agreement with the, with the company. Does that make sense? Okay, so now here is the other way to see. You are in Texas City, Gary. One way to see is you, you type in Texas City, then you put an A. Google will give you the most common search, search keywords. Is there anything here you can go after? I don't think you can rank for airport and rent an airport. Doesn't make sense, right? So go B. Hotels, banks, breakfast, Burger King may not be. We want to see if you can find some of these contractors, right? Um, where they go, right? Then C, right? You want to find somebody here, Chinese food, 260 searches, but with that, can you make money renting it out? May not make sense. So you can, one way to go is like this, DE. Look, dentist comes up. I have a dentist rank and rent site. It's not the easiest one because the dentist, they call, it's not <laughs> service-based. They have to find your address. The address on my, my website and the GMB is different. So I would suggest staying away from, you want to go to businesses that are service-based. Business will come to your home, right? But you put a DE and you can find something, maybe dermatologist. Maybe I'm just going with, you know, like you can type demolition. Like you can do this. I don't want to go into the detail, but you understand. But ideally, when I was just starting, and even now, I would just go and type in each of these, carpentry, gutters, Electrical painting, right? And I would just put each of them and I would see. So carpenter. So look, Google is giving me carpentry Texas City. Let's look at that. Okay. Again, zero. Like I said, Texas City is 50,000. So I would ideally want to go and find a city that is closest to you. Okay. Um, but that's got a little bit higher population. Do you know any city that's close to you? Let's see. How far are you from? Santa Fe, Texas, and what's the population of Santa Fe, Texas population? Oh, small. Okay, let's keep going. Is Pasadena somewhere close to you? Ideally, you want to find something close by. Pasadena could be something. Awesome, 150,000, right? How far are you from Pasadena? Why am I choosing a city that is close to you? Because worst case, you can drive 45 minutes, Gary, and meet the business owner. If this is your first site. You want to meet face to face. You will learn a lot. He will feel comfortable. You can get it rented faster. Can you rent a website staying here, rent it in California? Absolutely. But you're just starting out, so I will choose this. Does that make sense? Now I will do the same thing here. So let's take off Carpentry, Texas City. Let's put Pasadena. Right? Let's look at that. Okay. Again, it says zero, but let's don't just go for this number here. Look into this also. Very, very low hanging fruit. Four reviews, no website. You see that? So even if only, you know, you, he only gets a couple of jobs. Carpentry, carpentry job cost, right? 200, 125, I, it depends. I don't know too much about this. You can, but you get the idea, right? Find some. Let's just go with painter. Why? Because I know painting. You know, painters is in Pasadena, Texas. Let's look at that. 
Um, 10 cents a month, awesome. At least you have some volume. Again, this is not just 10 because we won't go only after the main keyword. We are, we are taking the main keyword into account, but we will go after all the related keywords. So put together, you will finally be ranking for 100 searches at least. So you can easily get him six, seven, eight, ten 10 jobs. But there's just the main keyword you're going after to, to gauge a low hanging fruit. Searches are there, people are advertising, painting companies are paying Google here, Google here. Look at the top guys here. No website, 12, 12 reviews right there, right? I painted my house last year, cost me like 4,000 bucks. A lot of money in that painting, okay? Um, the other way you want to look into how to find if it's a low hanging fruit is number one, the number of reviews. This is an ad, so don't go by this. He's paying per click. These are the organic ones. We want to find out from organic how low hanging they are. Number one, if there's no website in any of these top results, I love it. Because why? If you put a website along with a GMB, you will scream to the top and land right here and start getting calls. You're picking a fight with the toddler and knocking him out in one shot. As bad as that sounds. So make sense. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Hey, so um, what about the pages? Does it matter how many pages it is? You we're gonna come to that. We're at one. We're still we're still in step one, Brandon. Okay. Okay. So first thing you want to know, great question by Brandon. This is a low-hanging fruit. How do you find out the number of reviews? Anything less than 30 and all this is number take. There are, there are industries and with, with thousands of reviews, hundreds of reviews. If you can find some in the single digits and teens, oh my God, you can put like six to seven reviews a, a month and knock them out in two months, right? Along with the other optimization. Second thing we go and see in the organic results here is how many are these inner pages and directories that are coming up? Yelp is ranking, AMG is ranking, this guy is an inner page, right? This, when I click on this guy, it's not his home page that's ranking. This is the home page. It's his inner page. The whole thing was ranking. Does that, do you see that? Home advisor, Angie, Yelp, Yelp. The first guy who's, this is, this is the end of page one. Page one, there's no single website home page ranking. Oh my God, this is such a low hanging fruit. You see that? Oh my goodness. This is the first guy who's a real website whose homepage is ranking. And he's on the bottom of page two. And then I want to see how many pages he's got. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. You see that? So what are the things that you want to see to find if it's a low hanging fruit? Number of searches, write this down somewhere, you get the recording replay also, 10 and above, okay, at least for the main keyword, right? Um, no website in the map pack. What's the map pack? This is the map pack, the GMB listing. This is called a map pack. So no website, even if one guy doesn't have a website, I love it, right? Very low reviews in the map pack, okay? And then I'm gonna to come to the next one. In the organic searches, number of pages in the top guy who is ranking for the homepage, okay? Why is Yelp? So most people ask this question, Yelp and NG, they have a huge domain authority. You see this domain authority is the domain authority of the domain. The power of the domain is 93. This is a Moz metric, Moz toolbar metric, right? But uh, Google goes by that, right? It's just a gauge again, right? So, oh my God, 93 out of 100 is big because if you're a local business, you only have 10. Like this guy's got, what's his, uh, uh, how do I even, okay, let's look at this. What is this guy's domain authority? My mouse button is not working. Uh, it's not loading properly. Let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, it's not loading properly, but if you go down here, 
Let's go to the guy we saw here, nine. See that? In the local space, if you bring your DA of a website to nine, 10, less than 20, and you will bring it slowly by backlinks and optimization and all that, you are king. So the top guy is nine DA with 10 pages, right? You can easily knock him out. And he's, he's we don't even have to knock him out because he's the bottom of page two. You are just going to find out the top guys on page one. So this guy, the biggest question people have is, hey, Yelp.com, this guy, he is a DA of 93. How can I outrank him? A lot of people have the question, right? So if I go to Ahrefs, which is a tool, if you don't have Ahrefs, don't worry about it. It's a little bit expensive. I have an alternative tool. I will be showing you that. But I will take this Yelp listing, and I want you to understand this. I put it in Ahrefs. It's going to show me the number of backlinks and all that. This specific page has got zero backlinks, and it is ranking for my main keyword in number one. Does that make sense? How come it's got zero backlinks in this ranking? Why? Because the home page, the domain itself is so big, it's got 118 million backlinks, right? So this inner page is ranking because the search results, the all the competitors for this search, this keyword, they are so under-optimized that this dude here, he just put a new page and he's ranking. He has no backlinks. He may not be optimized properly. He's ranking. So if you come, right, and you put up a website that is optimized just for the city and just for the niche, Right, so city in our case is Texas. Right, you optimize it just for Texas city and just for painter. You will most likely be screaming to the top here and start getting a couple of calls. Make sense? Any questions on this? Is it way over your head? Feel free to ask. There's nothing as a stupid question. Ask me the question because this is the foundation. If you understand the niche research, identifying the keyword, uh, the, the low high inputs, and then the keyword research, that's 80%. Everything else, even if you don't do it right, you will rank and rent and bank. Anybody, any questions, anything at all? Yeah. Okay. So, so let's go with more, more ideas here, right? So somebody else said, Yorba Linda. Is that a city, Yorba Linda? Yeah. It's in Orange County. Okay, Yorba Linda, California. Never heard of that city. 67. Now, this may be a bit less. I always try to go for 100,000 and above, Mike. The reason being, you may be able to write, let's just say, free service, this one, right? There may be a good search volume, okay? There's not too much over here. This may be a low hanging fruit, and you can rank it and all that. But because the city is so small, there may not be enough calls for you to be able to rent it for a decent 300, 400, 500 dollars a month, right? That's why I would say, that's why I have this open. You want to find, if you're in California, find something that's close to you, maybe 100,000 something, go somewhere here. There's so many California, Inglewood. I don't know how far or close this is, but you can literally go and say free service, Inglewood, California, right? And then see, this is free care, free service. Let's look at that. 10 cents a month, you see that? People are paying for ads, so there are businesses who will pay you. Look at the top guys, 12 reviews, 29 reviews, no website, low hanging fruit. You see that? And what's the population again? 103,000. Right? Where did that go? Okay, let's look at the top guy. Here is the first guy who's ranking. Let's open him up. I want to see the number of pages. His DA is 14. But then in a page, another top, another one guy is ranking. Let's open him up. So this guy, how many pages? Oh my God, one page. You see that? If you put site, colon, and the, and the website, you will find out how many pages are indexed. He's got one 
paid and he's making money. So if you come and you put 30 pages, a page for tree service, a page for tree removal, a page for tree trimming, all the services, blogs, suburbs, and all that, you're gonna when you and we'll cover that in the keyword research, you're gonna be making getting a lot of calls. Does it make sense? Let's take the second guy who's ranking. Oh my god, there you go, Mike. You got you found the low-hanging fruit. Tree service Inglewood, California. Does that make sense, guys? As simple as that. So we've got painters for Gary. It doesn't have to be painter, but I'm just giving we found like just just spending what 36 minutes. Not even that, to be honest, because it took us 10 minutes to get started, right? In 20 minutes, we found a low-hanging fruit for Gary near his home. We found for Mike in his home. Who else is there? Let's see. Beaumont is there. Okay, anybody else? Brandon, you're in Atlanta. Chris, okay, Chris, let's say Chris. Chris is in the UK. And Chris mentioned he wants to make money in US dollars, right? Now, Chris being in the UK, he cannot, he does not speak American. He speaks English, <laughs> right? So how can he make money? Or, or Mahabub is in, in Bangladesh. How can he make money in the US? Same process, right? You can literally go and find something. Let's find somebody for Chris and Mahabub, right? Uh, let's go Bend, Oregon, okay? You tell me where you want to go, right? Sugarland, Texas. Just it's a matter of permutation combination. So if I want to go Sugarland, Texas, I go the same thing, free service Sugarland, Texas, and look how it is. Okay, look at the search volume. Oh my God. It's an overall year-round summer, you know, sunny place, so there's a lot more volume. People are paying. Is this the lowest hanging fruit? May not be the lowest hanging because 60 reviews, 60 reviews, but zero um website no website so you can go here and try it may not be the lowest hanging fruit but it can be done the top guy is a website how many pages does this guy have is there one two three four five five pages you see that something you can do by the way uh this could be a real i, I thought this could be a rank and run but May not be, it could be a real website. But you find, you find, you know what I'm saying, right? You get the idea? Now in the same Sugarland, Texas, you don't have you don't have to go tree. You can go find any of these foundation, right? Go here, do foundation repair, Sugarland, Texas. Again, let's see the number of search volume. Oh my God. People are paying for ads. Okay, this is not the lowest hanging fruit. 39, 14 is fine, but 194. In a page, in a page, in a page. It can be low hanging, but it's not the lowest hanging. Does that make sense? Now, foundation repair job cost. Anywhere from average cost is 10,000 bucks. Let's just lowball to 5,000. If Chris over here can send just two jobs worth $5,000 each to a company who's advertising in Sugarland, oops, right? Let's just say Chris is very new to SEO and local SEO and all that. He puts a website for foundation repair in Sugarland, Texas. He does a very bad job of ranking it. He only gets to, let's say one call a week and then that's equal to four calls a month and out of the four calls a month two become jobs two jobs which is equal to five thousand dollars it could be ten or more but five thousand dollars per job which is equal to ten thousand dollars of revenue for this for his client do you think this client will pay him forget ten percent at least 700 bucks a month hmm any questions on this, guys? Mahabub says yes. Yes, exactly. Does that make sense? This is not rocket science. As a matter of fact, I love Chris so much, I'm going to call right now and find the foundation repair. How about we make some money to, for, for Chris? In I want to ask a question, please. Yeah. If I want to rank on the SARS, then why I should uh, look at the map bank? Great question. Great question, right? 
So what Mahabub is asking is, I don't want to put up a GMB and rank and all this. Why should I look at this? You don't have to. This is just a gauge. Why? Because the lower the reviews and if they're once without no websites ranking, then chances are high, even down here, there are very few websites ranking. You see, when we saw this, this one here, foundation, there are more reviews and, and that means website companies are ranking. This guy's a company, this guy's a company, this guy's a company, right? This guy's a company. But when we search for Texas, uh, what did we search for? Doctors in Texas or painters in Texas? I forgot, right? We found, uh, was it painters? Whatever, we found only one guy, Look at this, one guy was there, but everybody has like all of this, was it, that was a painter, I forget. One low hanging fruit viewer, the first low hanging, the first website ranking was in the bottom of page two. You saw that? So it's a gauge. Am I answering your question, Mahabu? Yeah, he says, yes, got it. Okay, makes sense. So let's go here, okay? I know I'm gonna jump a little bit. We're gonna go over more ideas to find low hanging fruit because when, I was in my day job and even afterwards and even now a little bit, I would just keep this open and this open and I would just be doing permutations combination, okay? I have never heard of a city called Menifee in California. So I would just be curious and I would just go and say, okay, foundation in Sugarland, Texas has so many people, you know, paying and search volume and all that. What if I do the same foundation repair in many feet, California, never heard of the city before. Oh my God, they are paying for ads. It says zero, hmm, I don't know. Let me look at the, look at five, six to one, four, forty five. may not be the lowest hanging. But how about I now keep the city and I say painters, okay? I search for this, okay, 10 searches a month, people are paying. Uh, 36, 23, 145, again, may not be the lowest fine, so many things may not be a great one. And I would just go find, maybe let me try, uh, let me go somewhere else, let me go, okay, appraisal, oh, real estate is booming, okay. Let me go appraisal, appraisers, look, Google is telling me appraisers in, you know, many fee. look at this, 10, one, one, one guy is hiring an ad, you see that? Like even though it's zero, you know what I'm saying? So I would just do permanent, look, look at this. Yelp, NG, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, one guy with an inner page, contact, all of these are directory listings. So a pricer cost, okay? A pricer cost, let's say, how much is the cost of a pricer? In California, there we go. Oh my God. If you send two appraisal jobs to an appraiser, he would make 400 bucks each, uh, 800 bucks average, right? So while I am in appraisal in, in here, I would maybe go, hmm, maybe let me look into home inspections. Just, okay, look at that. I just thought about it because appraisal, home inspection, 30 cents a month, ads, eight, 143 is big, is big, may not be the lowest hanging, but yeah, yeah. So I would just go permutation combination, right? So when I found home inspection, then I would say, let me keep the niche and let me look into a different city and let's see if something else happens, right? Everybody's in California and Texas. Let me go Alabama, to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right? Where did that go? Home inspection, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Let's check that out. Wow, a lot of searches. Ads may not be the lowest hanging, so home inspection is not great. So I'll keep the same city, but I'll go for a different drywall. Okay, let me drive for drywall. Look, drywall repair. Do you, do, you, do you get the gist of where I'm going with this? Right, may not be the lowest, but you can rank, you know what I'm saying? Like this guy here, chances are high, he could be a, a lead gen site. Okay, why? Because we decide, may not be, maybe, I don't know. Does it answer your question, guys? Okay. So here is the other thing. How can you test it out? You can, once you zero down, I would recommend you do this. Every one of you find at least five low hanging 
fruits. Okay, so maybe one is a foundation in Sugarland. Maybe uh, you know, like find five niches and cities, and then you want to test it out. How do you test it out? Number one way is you can call and see if there are contractors open to pay you, or at least you don't want to say that they pay you right away, but you can get a conversation going. Let's see if you can do a live one right now. Or you can look at the CPC run ads and generate a quick call slash lead for like 10 bucks to a hundred bucks, depending on the budget and, and send that lead and see if somebody pays for it. Make sense? So what do I mean? What do I mean by generator run ads? So Chris being in UK, he can see, okay, 18 bucks the cost per click. On an average, five clicks can give you a call. So if I spend 100 bucks, I'll get a call. These guys are paying. Let me call them and see if, if, if they're willing to take it and pay for it. Or we just saw this $1 cost per click. So that means every 10 bucks you spend, you get a call. Okay? Or you can say, I'm not going to spend any money on ads. I'm just going to call these guys. Does that make sense? So I would go here right now. Any questions on these guys? Any, any, any questions? Any I mean, going too fast, anything at all. Does it make sense so far? Okay. So what can Chris do? Chris is in the UK. He can get a number. Okay. I have my cold caller till recently was using a $2.50 Skype call. She got a US number for $2.50, $2.50 a month. And she was calling the Skype. That's it. She was calling US businesses. Recently, we moved her to Ring Central, which is a little bit more expensive, but I can track the calls and, and, and all that. So Chris can go get a Skype number and go to these guys. They are paying Google or go to Angie. These guys are paying, right? And you can call. And here's what I'm going to call. I would open up these guys, Ocean, Atlas, Yep, Houston, Two Brothers. I want to find somebody with not a lot of reviews. Because if they have a lot of reviews, they can still take your calls, but they may probably have a lot of marketing dialed in. They may, you know, they may not be the most open. You want to find a smaller contractor, you know, like Dawson or Duratech, right? Let's just take Dawson. Nice looking guy here. Okay. And this is the number. Now, if you are going to call this number, mm -hmm. this, this number could be a number that is given by Google because this is in the Google ad section. So we want to go and search for Dawson Repair in uh, Sugar Land, Texas and get his real number. This is him. This is the real number, 2110. It ends in 2110. What did we find? Oh, it's the same number. Okay, so in this case, the same number. So we're good to go, right? I'm going to call right now, okay? Chris says I can get two your numbers. Awesome, there you go, right? Here is what Chris has to say or Gary has to say, even before you, so you can rank a site, get the calls and then rent it out. That's how I started, so I learned the process. But if you even have somebody, a, a, a relationship with the contractor that from the very first call, he's ready to pay you, that's a lot better. So I'm gonna call, okay, can you guys see me okay? I'm gonna call now. 713-668-2110. And the best thing is this, I'm not a sales guy. I cannot, I don't know the, I don't know the sales technique and smooth and this and that, but I know to provide value. So number one, I want to check this dude out and learn a little about him. Okay, he's got all of this stuff. He does a lot of this stuff. Plumbing repairs, mud plumbing, foundation repair guys. So he does a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, he's, he, he does not only do sugar loaf, he does a lot of these areas. You see that? Or sugar land, whatever the name is. Okay, um, I want to see, okay, about us. This is a pretty decent sized company, right? Martin is the founder, Michelle is the, this thing. So I would know if somebody picks up who I'm talking to. So I'm going to call right now. Mute yourselves. Let me see if I can call. So I'm calling right now. 
Hi, um, you guys do foundation repair in like the Sugarland area? Yes, we do. Okay, great. Um, I'm not a client, uh, to be honest, but I have a, I could do some, I could refer you some people because I have a couple of people looking for this stuff. I'm looking for a company where I can send some referrals. Do you take on referrals? Yes, we do. You know, we know, we are looking um, in, I want to say in January, I'm not sure what, Okay, so in January, uh, going forward is when you would take the jobs. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. No, uh, um, so here's the thing. Uh, who, what's your name again? Sorry. Right. Uh, your name? No. Yeah, okay. Uh, my name is Ganesh, um, and I have a website uh, about foundation repair and everything. I'm not a foundation company. I'm a website guy. Uh, but I have people who find the website and call me for foundation repair services. I can send these. These are active customers. I'm looking for, actively looking for foundation repair. So I can send those to you. Um, I was just wondering, uh, long term, if I send these clients to you, you make some good money. Do you think we can work out something long term? <laughs> that's fine yeah don't worry about it i like i said i'm not looking for anything right now here's what i'll do um your name is jill you said is it i'm sorry did you say your name was jill no joe okay is there an email you can give me a one i forward you some information, but two, I can send you some leads and customers looking for jobs. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And how do you spell your name again one more time? J O. J O, that's your name. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, I'm going to send an email. My name is Ganesh. Um, a little bit about my information because I see you guys do jobs in a lot of cities, not just Sugarland, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I get the same thing. I get quite a few calls. I could probably, obviously not right away, but over time, send you like 20, 30 active clients because especially in the summertime, Joe, I get so many calls. It's crazy. Yeah. Do you guys do anything for advertising right now? Do you what do you guys do to get clients right now? Do you like pay on Google or something or? <laughs> That's fine. Well, here's what I'll do. One, I'll send you an email uh, later today, or most likely tomorrow. But then, as I get these customers, I'll have them email. I'll email them to you, or I'll have them call this number directly and you take care of them. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Nice talking to you, Joe. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, you saw that? Nothing rocket science, nothing smooth. If I do something now, pay me an upfront. No, I just got a conversation. Her name is Joe. Was it a guy or a girl? I did not even know. It sounded like a lady to me. Did you guys, were you guys able to hear that conversation? Uh, only, only just, but yeah, Joe, Joe's the girl. Yeah, for sure. There's a girl? Okay, sounded yeah. like a girl, but you know, I couldn't find the number, I mean, the name in the website. But here's the thing number one, she, I talked to her, she's open, they just can't, like every business, local business, who, would, who wouldn't who would say yes if you can send me referrals? Like her, there may be cases where we are swamped, backlog, winter, or whatever, but they'll be open, right? Even if they say, oh no, we can't take referrals, we are booked, what I say, tell them is, hey, I understand that. For the quality of my leads, my customers are so high end jobs. If you get 20 jobs in your book, then I send you 10 high quality, higher end jobs. You can probably take on my jobs and send the subcontract to the other ones. You know, they can, you want to educate them. You get the idea, right? So this is a big company. Chris, this one company, by the time summer comes, not right now, by the time summer comes, can pay you 5,000 bucks a month, foundation repair. So you can start a relationship with her. When I say start a relationship, <laughs> don't literally start a relationship. You get the idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you want to know, she knows you, you know her, send an email, send a video. There's a whole, there's a whole thing we, we can show you. Does that make sense? But yeah. right away, here's what you can do, Chris. 
you start doing going over this advanced keyword research and all that and start looking to put up a foundation repair website in that city. Make sense? Okay. So it's not rocket science. So the biggest homework today, find at least five low hanging fruits. And I went to foundation repair, start with something small, start with the gutter. We just found the gutter, right? Let's go with the, how about one more cause? A low hanging fruit, gutter repair to whatever this place is. Tuscaloosa, all right, right? Look, there are 10 drywall repair people advertising in ANG. You see that? Berkeley Services, Andrews Home Repair, Midwest Repairs, Dana's Painting Services. So if I go to Dana's Painting Services, so number one, make sure you got this. Let me make sure. Here, I'm going to send this to you. I'll put this in the chat of Zoom. Thank you. Take it up. Okay. And then I'm going to close this. Uh, where did that go? Uh, Donna's Painting Services in Tus. How do you pronounce this thing? Right? Look, the ING. I don't even see a website come up. Do you see that? Wow. This could be the one they may have. This have a Facebook page for all we know. Is this the one? I don't even know. They have one for the city. See that? But let's go here. Click on this. Come on, computer. Northport, Alabama. So that's how you want to search. Okay. You want to see if, okay, uh, this, this is Florida. So the tricky thing here is this number, if I do a show number, this could be owned by Google or Home, I mean, Home Advisor. And so we don't know, let's just talk to them, okay? Uh, who, I'm just gonna do this, and if somebody, you know, we can give it to Mahabub or somebody, let's just see, 205, 723. Because sometimes, like in the case of the foundation repair, I talked to a gatekeeper, it's a bigger company. I had to build two, three layers of relationship before getting to the owner. But here, I could probably talk to the owner. I don't know, let's see, I'm calling right now. Thank you for calling, thank you for calling. So the thing with smaller companies, if they're in the job, they can't even pick the phone call. They may not, you know what I'm saying? So you do, it's not rocket science. If you are not afraid of picking the phone call, the first thing should be identifying low hanging fruits. Second thing should be just calling them up and saying, hey, if I ever refer customers to you, can you take on these jobs? Yeah, absolutely. I think we can do that. I may not be able to do it in December, but January I can do. If they are willing to talk, get a conversation going, just like I showed you. Okay, quick one. Do you know what you're doing for uh, jobs to get jobs now? Are you working with Google or anything like that? I don't know. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Get a conversation. Get an email. I will send you an email about me. So, Chris, what you need to do, and this is goes to everybody, right? You want to see if you can go through this, how to do an SEO video audit video. Go through this one. And SEO audit recording example one, example two, and see if you can do a video. It doesn't have to be today, tomorrow, it could be the weekend. I can help you. If you don't have the tools, I'll show you. But I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. But you know, it is so like this in the local space. That's what I'm saying. Literally, if you plan it and you work it, there's no reason in the 90, forget 90 days, you know, next 186 months, by the time summer comes around. You should be having three, four websites rented, even if it's only at $500 a month, that's $2,000 a month of passive income. That's huge. That is huge. When was the last time you guys bought a course and made 2000 bucks in six months every month? Never, not me either. I'm close. <laughs> right? So most of these SEO gurus overcomplicate the schema and the geotagging and this and that, or they overcomplicated the one close call the two close call bullshit. The other end is a person. I am a person. We talk man to man, and the person can read the other person if they're genuine. Simple as that. 
So make sense? So if you're genuine, you provide value, the value doesn't even have to be a lead. The value will be showing something in the video or if you build a relationship, it's a relationship. But over time, like my 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 daughter's birthday, my eight-year-old, she's seven, she's turning eight in December 2nd. She's been asking me for a bracelet from for the last four months. Her birthday is December 2nd. But it started in August. And in the you know refrigerator, she had somehow calculated 120 days to her birthday. Every day, 119 days to her birthday. It came, it's now two days to her birthday. And today we're going shopping for a bracelet. Like kids can sell you things, relationship. You just have to, so I'm not saying just stock this one guy. If you have five, six people in the hopper and you start building a relationship, eventually at least two will turn into clients. Make sense? So this is your homework today, guys. Next week, we'll go to the next step. But every one of you, please, if you can come with at least four or five low-hanging fruits, let's visit that next, next week and identify one or two each so you can then go and start getting that. Okay? Uh, I know Brandon's got a question, but can I just quick says you're looking at five niches, five cities, or yes, one niche, so five cities. Yes, so drywall repair something. Sound base repair something, right? If you have questions, tag me. Ask in the Facebook group so that when I answer, everybody can see, you know, because other people have the same question. Is it possible yeah. to call from Bangladesh to the U.S. business owners? Yes, my call caller here. Let me show you this. My call caller, right, calls from the Philippines, OK? And these are the sales pipeline. What I'm showing you is exactly what they're doing. OK, there should be a number one somewhere. OK, here we go, right? She calls from the Philippines. And whatever I'm showing you, today I had a half an hour meeting with her, and I was practically explaining the process to her also. So it's not rocket science. Which platform do I use to need something like Skype a number? Yeah, go to Skype. Um, and you have a Skype account, you can buy a US number for $2.50. Just look it up. I had her look it up and I paid for the car, you know, $2.50, but I said, you do the research. Yeah, Brian, okay. you have a question? Oh, that was long ago or right now? You have a question? Um, yes, um, you had answered it, but I have another question. Um about the uh, low hanging fruit, um, like on Google, is is it is it another way? Like on Google, can you you know how you can scroll down at the bottom of Google and it shows you how many pages on that part too? How many pages? Um, at, like at the bottom of Google, mm -hmm. can't you see low hanging fruit that way too? Yeah, yeah. Like like sometimes some uh, some niches you look at can be like 120 pages. Some of them can be yeah, two pages. Yeah, and here is another way. Let's just go to a website. Uh, I want to find a website. Let's just go with this this guy, right? Um, if you don't know anything how to look up a web page, how many pages does a website have? I was showing this to my my call for today, right? Site checker, Sevly, like there's so many ways to check the number of pages. Yeah, just put the website there and show you. Yeah, Fires, yes, go ahead. What do you have a question? Uh, hi. I am new here. Uh, I'm so sorry if you hear some noise from backside. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I have a question that uh, we are working on this ranker and model. Okay, fine. We are finding the low hanging uh, fruits. And when we are going to uh, rank it, it will take at least uh, two, three months, four months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after that, we will start making the money. Okay. Is there any way that uh, we can, as I know the SEO, uh, I have uh, working on that. Uh, mm -hmm. But is there any way that we uh, we can start the earning immediately within one month like this? Anything, yes. any formula is here? Yes. So there's a couple of ways. When I just started, the cost per click was very low, right? So if you can find cost per click where you can run ads and generate a lead for 10 bucks and sell it for 20 bucks, you start making money right away. That's number one. I was doing it for... When I started, I would do three service in every small city and I would look up and I would, every $25 I spent in ads, I would generate two calls and I would sell each call for 25 bucks. So I would spend 25 and make 50. That's one way. 
Number two, if you already know SEO, you can go and buy a, an expired domain or an auction domain that already got the backlinks and all that and build it out on that. Does that make sense? And then number three, a little more complicated, is you start talking to him and see how you can get him to pay upfront 200 bucks in the promise that you will send him five jobs and use that 200, 100 for ads, or maybe 150 for ads and 50 for your, your website, so it's funding you. So it's all about the relationship you have with him, right? You cannot go and most marketers, what do they do? Pay me the money, I'll give you this. We are going the opposite way. We are giving this to you for free and we'll talk money later. So yes, you may not be able to make money month one, but you will have such a good relationship long-term because these business owners, 99.9%, they have never had anyone in their life give them a customer and make they made money before even paying anyone. So you're like, oh my God, this guy is something else. I want to talk to this guy. But you can use the other methods I told you to make, make this. Okay? Awesome, guys. Let's do this. Bring, uh, tag me here questions, but next week, come with your five niches. Let's zero it down, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. See you Thank next you. week. Thank guys. you. Bye -bye. Thank you.